What's going on, you guys? This is your boy, Scott About Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. What's going on, you guys? What's going on, you guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Thursday, and I plan on doing the same. So let's go ahead and get into today's mess, you guys. So we're here to talk about Mr. Kevin Gates and T.S. Madison. Now, um, apparently a trans woman went on a podcast and she talked about having sex with Kevin Gates. And she even said that she later revealed to him that she was transgender and he did not care. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into this um interview that he did well not that he did with this um the interview that this trans woman did with this podcast then we're going to get into what t.s madison had to say and then we're going to um give our opinion and move on to the next so let's go ahead and get right on into it you guys let's 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 take a look i was like i'm not like so he came and he was like let's go to dinner and i was like okay just like text me where like kept it really cool um and he sat down, he had like four phones. He was saying like El Chapo was watching me. And I was like, okay, <laughs> like cool. He had El a boat. Was a gang or was El no, El Chapo was the cartel. And we were in his car. He was playing me his new album. He was on Instagram live. And in my brain, I'm like, dude, he shows me on live. And I'm like, ugh, I just know one of like the fans from Iowa, like where like, I'm from. That like, is a dude. Yeah, like that's a back in the mail. And it was just one of those situations where I almost felt like I was like, at like lunch with my or like in trouble with my principal mm -hmm. like i felt like he was literally looking so deep into like my soul and my like nine different holes that like i didn't even know what i was getting into i tried caviar for the first time that was cute mm -hmm. it was hot he asked like do you want to come home with me he was kind of just like get in my car and then just had, i mean that's how, they, that's how they always you are no, you, don't, you don't ask you go no. yeah you just go, go. you just follow the rules and I, I don't know he's all about like energy like ashwagandha yeah. like the whole yeah. nine honestly we fucked and I told him I was trans, like, mid, like, spread eagle, like, pussy flap scars and all. Like, I literally... How did you, like, how did, like, how did you bring that Honestly, up? Honestly, like, I was just like, sex. what? Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm squirting. He's like, no, you're not. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> no. Oh, my God. You guys kill me. <laughs> um, but no, I was literally, I'm not kidding, like, spread eagle. I think mean, he was, like, eating me out or something. And then in my brain, he, like, stopped. And I'm like... Oh, oh he, he knows my clit looks different. Like, fuck. <laughs> like, I was like, fuck, uh, what's, yeah, what's happening? No he was like, yeah, no. <laughs> He's not out of breath that quick. Let me get this man an oxygen tank. Um, but he was like, can I ask you something? And I go, yeah. And he was like, well, are you trans? And I go, you I, and I was just <laughs> like, I was so no, drunk. Like, no, like, come like, on. They're like, what makes you see that? Yeah. And, I, <laughs> and I was laying there and I go, you caught me. <laughs> and he literally was like, baby, I don't give a fuck. God raised all of us equal, yeah, all this bad. stuff. And I was yeah. like, that Respect makes you so much more attractive. And that makes you so much more like, honestly, manly and hot oh, yeah. that you like, that you knew, know that I had to work harder and pay more than all these other fucking crusty dust. I was like, I'm not like. Okay. So that was a trans woman that had the interview, but now we're about to go ahead and get into what Ms. T.S. Madison had to say about the situation. So um, T.S. Madison um, had some things to say in regards to trans women outing um, celebrity men after this interview came I was like, out. I'm not like, oh, I'm sorry. After this interview came out. So this is what she had to say. Let's take a look at that. Now, this is what she said. Now, she said, um, if you trans and you out here running the social media and blogs to detail your sexual experiences with celebrity men, I have a question for you. What is the reason? Because you can't claim you a woman and then sensationalize uh, your sexual encounters for a shock value. Don't be the continuous part of the down low stigma men are forced to adhere to surround their, surrounding their sexuality. So again, I've always stated, there is no safe space on any front for the men to live their authentic lives. The women won't accept them, the men won't accept them, and the trans want to out them. So that is what T.S. Madison had to say. And to be honest, I absolutely agree with everything that T.S. Madison had to say about that. I definitely agree. Because my thing about this is I'm not a fan of outing people. I've just never been a fan of that. And even though um, sometimes these DL men do be doing the, doing the damn most and 
you know, sitting up here acting like, you know, they can, they can, they can hold things over you. They can talk to you any kind of way, disrespect you, mistreat you, all that kind of stuff, you know? And sometimes I, sometimes when I see some people get out it and, and every time be like, he probably got what he deserved. But then at the same time, it's kind of like, oh, well, that's messed up. Cause we are all of us who's been in this community. We've all have been on a down low at some point in time, or at least we thought we were and wanted our secret to be kept. So it's kind of like, you know, I have my things about that. I'm never going to be a fan of anybody um, exposing any man that's in the closet. I would never do that. But at the same time, you should never really get with these men in the first place because uh, only only if you don't have no feelings for these people, only if you can get take your feelings out of the situation and really know what's really going on, then it wouldn't be a problem. But, you know, if you know you're going to get some feelings behind this stuff, then messing with a DL man is not your steeds. You should never mess with a DL man if you think that you're going to get some feelings for them because feelings are, should never be involved when it comes down to um, messing with a DL man. It should never, feelings should never be involved in it. That's why, I, that's why I don't deal with DL guys because of that. And I've dealt with them many times in the past but i don't deal with them because of it because of that now if i want to deal with them it's only for a role in the hay not because i want to be in a relationship with them because you can never be as an openly gay man you can never really be in a relationship with um no deal man it's just not possible but however um you know, if you want to be with, if you want to be in a relationship, if you want to just screw around with them, that's the best thing about it. So that's the only thing I can say about it. So we're going to move on to the next thing. And that's, that is Mr. Jonathan Majors. Okay. Now y'all know that he has been in the blogs for apparently, you know, stealing off on a woman. And, um, and at first they were saying that it, that wasn't the case, but then, you know, it, it came out to be the actual case of the situation. So now he has been, um, officially um charged with it with the dv case um or whatnot so let me go back and get back to that story because i didn't get a chance to talk about it. all this stuff that we're talking about right now is all the stuff that i never had the chance to talk about yet because i've been so consumed with all the escape drama that i didn't get a chance to talk about jonathan majors because i've been wanting to talk about this for a minute now so uh let's see okay wait a minute go up because i'm on the neighborhood to talk i thought i had the story up here where is it at child see this is what i don't like doing you know but you know child because this was supposed to be live if you don't know but you know here we go so now jonathan majors is um officially charged with assault and harassment despite the lawyer's claims that he's innocent and actually called 911 first due to his concerns for his girlfriend's mental health okay now according to the neighborhood talk they're saying things are not looking good for Mr. Jonathan Majors, okay? Um, the actor is now being officially charged with assault and harassment following his arrest this weekend for allegedly assaulting his girlfriend. This past Sunday, uh, Majors was arraigned in NYC on multiple misdemeanor charges, including assault, attempted assault, harassment, and aggravated harassment. Majors' lawyer released a statement today to further prove his innocence. They claim that Major, when all the evidence is being presented, would be clear of all the charges. His lawyer also states that Major was the one who actually called 911, despite being the person that was arrested. So to set the record straight, as confirmed by one of the women, one of the woman's um, own statements on um, this disavowing her uh, um, allegations. It is Mr. Majors who called 911 due to concern for her mental health, okay? Um, the statement said, that's what the statement says. So, child, this is messy, okay? So, that was basically the situation with Jonathan Majors. And listen, a lot of people have been giving him a whole lot of grief. You already know that um, for, a lot, for a while now, people have been attacking his looks, okay? People have been talking about how ugly he is, which I don't think he's ugly. And a lot of people have been giving him fever because he's dating a white woman. But, you know, whenever you find out a black man is dating a white woman, then nine times out of ten, he becomes unattracted to a woman, a black woman, when they find out that they, <laughs> that a man, that they want is with a white woman it always changes and flips up at that time so i'm not surprised by this situation only due to the fact that um uh, only due to the fact that this is this is a karen he probably he probably was dealing with the karen you know what i mean he's probably dealing with the karen and so you know i mean a lot of people feel like well you know he chose to deal with this type of woman so it is what it is like why should i feel sorry for him because he chose to deal with this type of woman so i don't know i mean I mean, but at the same time, did he really assault her and did he really harass her? You know, we got to think about, we got to think about both sides at this point. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's cute, but we got to think about all sides in this. Like, did he really harass her? And if he did, he needs to be charged. 
but we don't know. So that's all we could really say on that situation with Jonathan Majors. Um, I'm going to keep him on the prayer list. I'm going to keep him in the prayer list and all that good shit. You know what I mean? But, you know, child, this is a hot mess, you know. But that's what happens now. Just like they said, now that is what happens when you're dealing with a Karen now. That is definitely what happens when you deal with the Karen. This is what they do. And then they know you're a black, you're a black man dealing with a, with, with, with a Caucasian woman, child. It's, it's nothing but BS coming behind that. But anyway, we're going to move on to the next topic. And that is um, Drew Sedora and Ralph Pittman. As you already know, they're dealing with um, a divorce right now. They're definitely dealing with divorce. And um, right about now, Drew Sedora wants her divorce documents to be pretty much um, sealed. She don't want nobody to know about the situation at hand. She don't want nobody being all up in her business with this with these documents. So let me go and find it because I don't see it on Neighborhood Talk at all. So let me come over here and bring this up. Okay. Okay. So this is on Radar Online. So apparently, um, according to Radar Online, Drew Sedora pleads with the judge to seal the divorce documents after accusing her ex, Ralph Pittman, of repeated adultery. Okay. So let me put this on um, Do Not Disturb, child. So I want nobody to uh, do that. But here we go. Drew Sedora has pleaded with the court to seal her deal, um, seal, not seal her deal, but seal her divorce battle with the estranged husband, Ralph, days after accusing him of being physically aggressive with her. According to court documents obtained by Radar Online, Drew and Ralph are asking the entire record to be hidden from the public, okay? Let's see what else we got going on. What else we got going on? The exes state that they are both public figures with some level of acclaim due to their roles on well known um, reality television and other career pursuits in the entertainment industry. Okay, so that's one thing. And then another thing is Drew said that she filed for divorce. The court documents have appeared on numerous websites. The reality star who was paid to share her life with the world said that the sealing of the case is necessary to protect the parties and more importantly, their minor children from the unnecessary invasion of their privacy and undue embarrassment. OK, as Radar Online first reported earlier this month, Drew and Ralph filed for divorce. She accused her husband of repeated and uncondoned adultery and said that she could no longer take his blatant disrespect and mental abuse any longer okay so that was pretty much it now a lot of these girls when it comes down to it a lot of these girls they do want their documents to be sealed because they want to keep it away from the public that's really what be going on because i know that when monica first got her divorce from shannon brown she wanted her records to be sealed as well so child listen Listen, baby, like it's a lot going on with that. And, you know, the Real Housewives of Atlanta cameras are back running because, you know, that was done filming back in January. But when they found out about that damn divorce, they said, uh, uh, bitch, <laughs> it's uh, uh, bitch. We got to come back and, and do these. We got to come back and do the show, honey. We got to come back and do the show. So um, they they're back and they plan on, um, you know, catching this catching this divorce drama right now. So speaking of divorce drama, we're going to move on to the very next one. And that is Miss Eva Marcel. Now we already know that earlier this week, she um, filed for divorce from Michael Sterling. Now that's what we did find out. And it came from Sandra Rose. So we found out that Eva Marcel is a free agent now after divorcing her husband after nearly uh, five years. And she said that there are no prospects for reconciliation. Eva filed for divorce in Fulton County on um march the 23rd 2023 okay so yeah that's what they said but then today we find out that michael is not willing to um to do this michael said not so fast because he's not gonna lose eva to no divorce now according to the neighborhood talk child it looks like michael sterling isn't ready to say goodbye to Eva Marcel just yet. Now, if you can recall, the news broke on Tuesday that Eva was divorcing Michael after their court documents were made public. The two married in late 2018 and Michael even adopted Eva's daughter, Marley. Eva posted a video of herself smiling on Tuesday, but it doesn't seem like Michael is too happy. Now, according to an ex um, exclusive report from the Jasmine brand, Michael is planning on winning her back. I am not about to lose my wife, he said. I'm going to fight for her with every fiber of my being. I love her and I plan to show her how much I love her and that our love is strong enough to get to the other side. Now, we're not sure what caused her to foul, but when it comes to this relationship, like Eva cigarettes, there's clearly some smoke up in there. So we don't know what's really going on with this situation. However, 
it looks like he cheated and she's done. That's what it looks like to me. So I don't know. I really don't know. But she the one who filed. You feel me? She the one who filed. So at the end of the day, he had to do something to her to make her want to file. And it, and it looks like he was cheating for him to say he going to fight for her. So he must have been in the wrong. Had to be in the wrong, child. He had to be in the wrong. So like all I got to say is that... um. You know, go ahead and fight for your lady, uh, uh, Michael Sterling. Go on, on fight for her because you know it, it's 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 cute. But let's see if she wants to be fought for. Okay. Now, anyways, for the last story of the day, let's get into Mr. Tory Lanes. Okay. He submitted an appeal in the Megan Thee Stallion case and claims that the prosecution unfairly submitted the evidence that made him look bad. Now, according to the Neighborhood Talk, okay, the Tory Lanes drama continued. Now, according to um, TMZ. Tory and his new defense attorney have submitted an appeal to the courts against his guilty verdict. They claim that the prosecution unfairly submitted irrelevant evidence that made him look bad, which ultimately led to his conviction. Now, Tory's new lawyer claims during the trial, the prosecution submitted um, a, a shirtless photo of Tory with his gun tattoos for identification purposes, but the lawyer believes that they were trying to sway the jury to believe that Tory had a fondness for guns. He does. Um, the lawyer also says that it was a reversible error for prosecution for prosecutors to threaten to present Tory's rap lyrics to the jury. Okay, so that's another thing. Let's move on to the to the other part of this. Okay, they're also calling out the prosecution. Also calling out prosecution for playing the eighty minute interview of Kelsey Harris' original statement when she recanted most of the information on the stand. Now the lawyer also says that it was wrong to admit that an Instagram post that included a comment from one of Megan's producers claiming that cops had matched bullets from Tory's gun to the fragments on Megan's foot. He also says it was wrong to allow statements that Megan made to the cops that Tory said to her that said to her immediately after the shooting. Please don't say anything because I'm on probation. Tory is expected to be sentenced next month. Child, his lawyer is trying to reverse damn near everything that happened in the trial okay so um that's pretty much it with that i just gotta say this tori let it go like you're not gonna get out of this scot free it's not gonna happen i just think that you just really need to let it go and move on you did what you did and you need to pay you need to suffer the consequences and, just, and that's just what it is like why are you constantly doing this like for what i don't get it but you know we uh it'll be more to this story i'm pretty sure so with that being said you guys this be your boy scatter by nature tv be sure to like rate comment subscribe and share this video and also click on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops if you want to follow me on any form of social media my twitter my instagram and my tiktok will be down below with that being said you guys your boys up out here until my next video i will holler at you guys a little bit later